Hello and welcome Sagittarius. This is your weekly reading. I am Pisces Intuition. Alright Sagittarius, I've already pre-shuffled and uh, cut the deck for you. So the first card represents you and it's temperance. Now the second card represents the two of swords and this is the um, problem or the challenge within the situation. Now the third card represents the fears or weakness, and that is the Queen of Swords. The fourth card represents hopes or strengths, and you got the Magician. Now the fifth card represents past influence on a situation. And then the outcome is the Hermit. Alright, Sagittarius, bottom of the deck, you got the King of Pentacles. Okay, um, Sagittarius, what I'm getting for you, like I said, the first card that I laid down is um, the card of temperance. And that tells me that, um, you know, temperance, she's all about balance. She's all about, um, you know, things being equal. You know, she's all about equality. She's got her foot in the water, you know, but yet she's still on land. She's go with the flow. She's laid back, but yet she's also, um, you know, business when it calls for that. Now, the problem or the challenge is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords tells me that um, there's a decision that you are not quite ready to make yet, or perhaps you're not seeing the full situation. You know, the full situation is kind of, um, you know, blinded to you. You don't know. You don't know all, everything you need to know about the situation in order to make this a decision. Now the third card that represents your fears or your weakness is the Queen of Swords. Now this is telling me that you have some trust issues within this um, situation and I'm seeing that because one, the Temperance card that's representing you, it's like you know something is off balance. You know something's right. You know you don't have all the details in this situation. And that's kind of what has you at a standstill and unable to make any decisions. And the Queen of Swords, like I said, she's calling for some truth. You know, she's calling for, um, you know, the details that she needs. And she's kind of mistrusting. She has her sword down at her side, you know, her hand on it. But yet she has, you know, her um, hand is being held, you know, by her partner. So that's telling me she's willing to listen. But she's not afraid to, you know, cut any anything that's not serving her out of the situation that, you know, she doesn't need. But this is telling me that you do have some mistrust because you don't have all the details about the situation. You just feel like something is, um, something's off balance, something's not right. Now, your hopes or your strengths um, is the magician. You know, the magician, he's the card that he has all the tools. He knows how to use them. He can make things, you know, manifest. Um, he has the infinity, you know, symbol above his head. He can also be a bit of a trickster. Now for the past influence on the situation, it's the King of Cups. You know, the King of Cups, you know, he is a very loving king. You know, when he loves, he loves hard. But he does tend to um, kind of hide his emotions. You know, uh, you see the glass of wine in his hand, you know, the cigar. You, he can be very, you know, very indulgent, you know, out of all of the kings. Um, he does like to indulge, you know, himself. But at the same time, like I said, um, this is more what I'm getting is, you know, he's kind of hiding his emotions. Now, the outcome... Being the hermit, that tells me that you are kind of going within, you know, you're taking a time out from the situation, you're going within because you need to do some soul searching, you kind of need to, you know, maybe you're looking for the answers and hoping that you'll find them, you know, within yourself instead of waiting for this person to provide you with answers. So now Sagittarius, so what I'm getting for you is... You know, like I said, you feel like this situation, you know, 
deep down, you know, something's not right, you're feeling off balance, but you don't have all the situa all the details to this situation. You know, perhaps somebody is withholding their feelings. You know, they're not telling you everything. And that's what the situation is requiring. You know, you're because you're you're not trusting, you know, the situation. Like I said, you know something's off balance, you know somebody is withholding something from you, and you kind of you know, you're stuck at a standstill because you can't make this decision because you're blinded to, you know, all the details because something is being kept from you. <clears throat> now, with your hopes or your strength being the magician that tells me that, you know, you're hoping that you will get, you know, the answers that you seek. You're hoping that, you know, there is a turnaround, that, you know, feelings are expressed. But at the same time, you know, the outcome being, um, you know, the hermit, where it's kind of like just saying, you kind of need to rely on yourself in this situation, Sagittarius, instead of, um, you know, not, you know, you don't have all the details that you need, that you require, you know, somebody's holding back their feelings. So this is just kind of telling me that, um, you know, perhaps you need to kind of take a break from this situation, you know, figure it, figure out what it is that you want you know, you're already mistrusting in this situation. You know, you can't, you're at a standstill. You can't make a decision. So, because you're not getting the answers you need. So, Sagittarius, uh, my advice to you is, um, you know, to, like I said, kind of take a time out, you know, do some soul searching, figure out what it is that you want. You know, do you want to find these answers? You know, or do you, would you rather just walk away from this situation? You know, especially if this is something that you can't trust. You know, do you really want to stay within that situation or within that energy? Um, like I said, the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. So what that's telling me is, um, you know, Sagittarius, I kind of see you moving on. Um, like I said, you take that time out, you know, you're, you've got to get that confidence back. You're kind of, you go within yourself, you do some soul searching. And then at the same time, you know, you're kind of, you're feeling yourself. You, you know, you have that strength, you know, that independence about you, you know, and it just seems like this situation is kind of holding you back and, you know, you're just, you don't trust it. So, um, Sagittarius, I definitely think, you know, my advice to you would be to, um, you know, remember who you are, remember, you know, you are confident, you are strong, you know, and you do, you are very, you know, stable, you know, very mature sign. Um, you know, I don't see you staying within this connection, you know, especially being so, um, untrusting of it. All right, Sagittarius, um, I hope that, you know, answered some questions. Um, I will see you next week. Love and light.